There were a lot of soldiers, sailors, and airmen involved from quite a few different countries on D-Day. So what did that chain of command look like? Right at the top sat American General Dwight Eisenhower, the Supreme Allied Commander of the Allied Expeditionary Force. Commanding all naval forces, you had Admiral Bertram Ramsey of the Royal Navy. Commanding all air forces, you had Air Marshal Trafford Lee Mallory of the Royal Air Force. And of course, commanding the 21st Army Group, all forces on land, Field Marshal Bernard Montgomery of the British Army. 